channel. Today I'm gonna be tackling an eyebrow tutorial. So I'm just gonna preface this by saying I am not a professional by any means. However, eyebrows are very important to me. Today I'm gonna try something new. I've been seeing a lot of bloggers doing this fluffy brow and it looks so nice. And I said, okay, I really wanna attempt it. I went to Sephora and I picked up all the supplies I need. So I did buy every single thing from Anastasia. So I got the Dip Brow Pomade. I also got this Brow Wiz. And lastly, I got the Claire Brow Gel. Let's get right into the video. So I've already done the base of my face. I know some people do eyebrows first. I prefer to do eyebrows at the end because I hate going back to have to fill it in. So honestly, this is just my method. You're free to do whatever you please. And I'm just gonna use a spoolie brush and brush out my eyebrows as the first step. Now I don't have a vanity area, so I'm just gonna use this little ratchet mirror that I picked up at Dollar Tree that I actually normally use as a tray, but I wanted something portable, so I'm using this today. Now I have really thin brows, so this is actually like as full as my brows ever get. I'm actually overdue for threading right now, so that's to tell you how like, and I don't, I really don't thread much, just like the tiny bits that grow out. But I thought, okay, this is the thickest my brows ever will be, so let me try it on these brows. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to use is going to be the Claire Brow Gel. And I'm really just going to try to stick my brows. I'm going to brush it up. I am so nervous, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know I could take it off after, but I'm just, I'm still nervous, especially because I'm filming it. I hope it doesn't look botched at the end. Now I'm just gonna try my other brow and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna brush it up. So I'm just gonna wait like two minutes for this gel to dry. A few minutes later. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take the Brow Wiz and I got it in the shade Ebony. Uh, and I'm just gonna draw a line underneath, a sharp line of where I want my brow to be. Now this also comes with the spoolie. Uh, but I had a spoolie from before so I didn't use it. And this is how the pencil itself looks it is super tiny as you can see so it is super tiny which makes me get a very defined line again I'm a beginner so I'm trying to make things as easy as possible for myself okay I'm already noticing that this is a little bit darker than I expected it to be and even though it's so tiny it is like very pigmented so I'm gonna press a little bit lighter so that it doesn't come out as dark for the ends okay so I did the line on this side it looks pretty neat good arch yeah <laughs> and now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side I'm just gonna draw a line underneath my brow. I've done both sides. I honestly can't tell if they're equal yet, but I'll go back in and I'll keep fixing them. We are just trying. So now I'm just gonna draw a line at the top uh, on both sides also. already look thicker than usual but I kind of like them I mean I'm not seeing the fluffy look yet but hopefully hopefully it comes through in the end 
all right so the next thing i'm gonna do which you can use your pencil or what i would normally do is use my dip brow but just for the sake i'm gonna attempt it with this brow waist pencil and i'm just gonna fill in all the like patchy spaces with like hair strokes like one or two strands like in front of my brow uh, just to like neaten up the front and I feel like this really adds like detail to the brow makes it look a lot more nicer and more natural so I'm just gonna do a few strokes upwards in the front of my brows So I've done the strokes. Uh, so far my eyebrows don't look too different than my normal routine where I just use the dip brow but I do still like them. They are a little bit thicker so they do look a little bit more natural. Um, but I am gonna go back in with a spoolie brush and try to fluff it up again and let's see. One thing, uh, from the gel, they are a lot more firm than usual. Like, usually they're very soft brows, but they are definitely, like, kind of stiff. But, I mean, not stiff in a way where I can't move my face or anything. So I don't actually feel it. Like, it's not uncomfortable. But as I try to brush the hairs, they are a lot more firm, which I like. brows just like this I am quite satisfied but I am gonna use a little bit of the dip brow on the ends of my brows just to make it a tad bit darker and honestly it's just because I'm addicted to this brow I love and look this is a new one how satisfying is this oh I don't want to ruin it but yeah my dip brow is in the color dark brown and that's the same color I've been using for years so so far I'll show you guys up close okay so how do we feel are we liking this fluffy brow I mean I have seen other people with fluffy ear brows I heard that some of them use like a like edge gel on their brows uh, but I didn't have a clear one I had pink edge gel and I was afraid that it would leave like flakes so I just tried it with the Anastasia gel um but I like it and again I also have a lot less eyebrows than a lot of people so maybe that could impact you know how thick and how fluffy your brows can get but I really like this look I like this a lot more than my typical like super neat brow I don't know feels like natural I like it the last brow thing I'm gonna do is apply some concealer on the bottom and the top just to make it a little bit neater uh, and the concealer that I'm going to use is this Cover FX Concealer. on my foundation my concealer and my brows so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna finish off my makeup and then I'll be back to show you guys the 
final product. In the meantime, do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here and leave a comment below. Do you guys like this new fluffy brow trend that's going on? Or do you like your brows thinner, neater? What do you guys like? Let me know. I'll see you guys in a minute. So here is the end, the actual final product. I finished my makeup, I am still obsessed with my brows. They are definitely the star of the show and I think I'm gonna continue on. So again, these are the three products that I used for my brows. Let me know what you guys think about the final result. Do you like this brow, do you not? And thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it to the end. This was my first time filming a beauty video and honestly I really enjoyed it so I would definitely love to continue if you guys also enjoy it so let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching!